Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about Broyden's method and how we can use that to solve some pretty difficult problems with uh, minimiza minimization and stuff like that. So for those who aren't aware uh, or like not sure what Broyden's method is, it's basically a uh, Newton's method but better. You've probably heard of Newton's method or newton raphson method where you iteratively solve uh, a system of equations and you eventually get to a solution, right? Um, the issue with Newton's method is that it's a little bit computationally expensive on our computers. So when we're talking about coding with Python, um, if we have to solve a Jacobian and like uh, get the partial derivatives and solve a system of linear equations at each iteration, it can really add up, especially if we're talking about like 90 iterations or something, right? Um, so Broyden's method gets rid of that and we just compute one uh, Jacobian at the first iteration, and then after that, we basically do rank one updates um, on each other iteration, and it costs our computer a lot less energy that way. Um, in addition, we can use the Sherman-Morrison formula to automatically calculate the inverse of our um, Jacobian at each iteration too, and that is going to be super useful when we're solving like minimization problems. So I've got a lot planned for this video, and uh, it's going to be pretty fun, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so let's jump right into it. Today I wanted to go through Broyden's method and basically derive it and talk about how we can use it in addition to the Sherman-Morrison formula to help us solve system of nonlinear equations, and to do that pretty quickly within Python. So let's go through the derivation of Broyden's method real quick. Basically, we're starting out with this approximation that y, or f of x, is equal to 0 for a system of nonlinear equations. And once we have this, what it allows us to do is we can make this approximation down here, which is our Jacobian, our new Jacobian, times our new delta x values is approximately equal to our change in our function. And this is what is ultimately what we're going to be using for our Broyden's method. However, with this case right here, um, that equation is underdetermined. And basically what that means is we have more equations than we have unknowns. So we can't solve this one. And in order to be able to solve this equation right here, we need to make sure that we have this equal number of unknowns as we have equations, right? And one way that we can do that is through performing a uh, rank 1 update. And we can do a rank 1 update by using the transpose of our matrix. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to say that our new Jacobian is equal to the previous Jacobian plus the change in our function minus the previous Jacobian times the change in our x values multiplied by the change in our x values transposed so that we can get the equal number of unknowns and known val or and equations, sorry. And then we're going to be dividing that by the norm squared of our delta x values. And once we have this, we are able to automatically calculate our new Jacobian matrix with our rank 1 updates and solve our minimization problem. In addition, we can use this in conjunction with the Sherman-Morrison formula, because the two formulas look very similar, to automatically calculate the inverse of our Jacobian matrix at each iteration. And that saves a lot of computational power on your computer and a lot of time, too. Um, without like Python or these formulas, cal calculating each step by hand would take years but it is really helpful that we have the Sherman-Morrison formula to automatically calculate the inverse of our Jacobian matrix for us. Thanks for sticking with us as we went through the derivation of Broyden's method. I know this was a short video, but we learned about how we can use the Broyden's method along with the Sherman-Morrison formula to save a lot of computational power on our computers and uh, within programming itself. And uh, in the next video, we're gonna be using Python to actually do some coding with the Broyden's method along with Sherman-Morrison formula to solve uh, a minimization problem for uh, the 2D Rosenbrock function, which is pretty cool. 
Um, so stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next one.